Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I will be crocheting it forward in this video by showing you how to make the traditional C2C or corner to corner stitch or pattern. So let's get started. For this video, I'm just using worsted weight yarn, a 6.0 crochet hook, and I have some scissors on standby. Um, so the first thing um, I want to let you know, you'll probably need to know how to learn You'll probably need to know how to double crochet, chain, and slip stitch for this pattern. It just repeats that. So let, let's start with our slip knot, and you can make your slip knot however you like. It's totally crocheter's choice. And we're going to start out by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then in your third chain from your hook, one, two, three. We're going to make a double crochet and then the next two chains after that a double crochet in each. Okay, so this is your first block. Okay, it's a chain three which counts as a double crochet and then followed by three double crochets. Okay, so now we're going to make another black. This is technically your first row because corner to corner is worked up exactly how it is named from one corner to the next and it starts with one block and then you add two blocks for your second row, three blocks for your third, four for your fourth, five, etc. Okay, so we're going to chain up six because anytime you're starting a new row, you're going to always chain up six. One, two, three. I like to pinch in my third chain um, just so I know where to immediately go to make the next double crochet. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. Three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to double crochet where I pinched that chain to make my first double crochet and then my next two double crochets after that. Okay, one of the problems that I had is I didn't know which way or when to turn my work. Um, so I struggled with that for a little bit. So I hope that this can help um, some of you beginners that might be struggling. So you have two blocks now and you're always going to flip with your left hand. You're never going to flip with your right. So we're going to flip this up and then we're always going to slip to join when you have two blocks um, joining together. So we're going to slip stitch right here. We're going to chain up three and these are going to always be your inner, inner blocks. Um, chaining up three and making three double crochets. One, two, three, now we've just finished our second row because this is our first and this is our second. So now we're adding another row, which means we're increasing and we're always going to chain six. One, two, three. I'm pinching. One, two, three. Yarn over and then right into that third chain, I'm going to immediately do my first double crochet. The next chain, second double crochet, next chain, third double crochet. Okay? And then we're going to flip our work. Anytime you've made a new um, box in your increase, you're going to flip your work up, okay, on your left, and we're going to slip to join because we're touching two boxes. Now we're going to chain up three, one, two, three, and then make three double crochets in that chain three space. And that's it. It's just a repeat of that. If you can get um, where you, when you decrease, when you get that down, that's the pattern. Okay, now we've slipped to join. Now we're doing our last block of our third row. So we're going to chain up three and make three double crochets. One, two, three. Now we've just completed our third row. Our first row has one block. Our second row has two, and our third row has three. So whatever row you're on, 
that is the number of blocks that you're going to make. So this next row is going to be four. So we're going to have four blocks total. We're increasing, so we are, we're still increasing, so we're going to chain up six, chain three, pinch your third, chain up three again, and then immediately make a double crochet in that third chain. And the two after that. Okay, now we're going to flip our work. Flip it up on the left side. Now we're going to slip to join because now we have two blocks touching. And then chain up three and then make three double crochets. Okay, I really hope my yarn is not getting tangled here. Now we're going to slip to join again, chain up three, and then make three double crochets. One, two, three. Slip to join, chain up three, make three double crochets. One, two, Three. Okay, I'm going to make one more row of increases and then I will show you how to decrease. So we're still in increases, so we're still chaining up six when we start a row. One, two, whoops, three, chain, uh, pinch your third, four, five, six, make a double crochet in that third chain and make double crochets in the next two chains after that. Okay, now we're going to flip our work up and on your left hand side. What I like to do is when, when you start getting your C2C garment growing, um, I like to fold this down because it gets in the way. You're going to be always turning and flipping when you're making the corner to corner. So whatever we can do to simplify it and make things easier, I'm definitely going to share that. So slip to join, chain up three. And just repeating this C2C pattern with three double crochets. Okay, slip to join. Next black, chain up three, and then three double crochets. One, two, three. Okay, got blocks touching, time to slip, to join, chain up three, two, three, and then make our three double crochets. We're going to slip to join in our last box of the previous row, chain up three, and make three double crochets. One, two, three. Okay, now at this point you can stop the video. Um, um, but the first time around, I always suggest that you always watch the video, the entire video, and also check the information box. There's just always going to be information there. Sometimes I um, replay the video and I'm like, oh my God, I probably confused them. Let me clarify this. So I always clarify it in the notes. So always check that out. But I've done one, two, three, four, five. Um, so let's just say your project was going to be 46 um, blocks up. So you're ready to decrease and make the other 46 um, going the other way down, obviously. So one, two, three, four, five. Another thing to remember when you decrease, you will never chain six. When you're decreasing, you're always going to chain three. So if you can remember that, and I will try to point that out um, throughout the decreasing. So now we're not going to chain six anymore, but we're actually decreasing. So I'm only going to chain three. For your top and bottom blocks, you will always, um, on your decreases, chain three. So now I've turned my work. Whoops. 
All right, so I chain three, I'm flipping my work over, and I'm slip, slip stitching. So now we have closed that row off. We're not adding anymore. So I'm chaining up three again, and I'm just jumping right back into our C2C corner to corner pattern by making three more double crochets. Have the other black touch in, time to slip, chain up three, and make three double crochets. When you're working the inner blocks of your project for C to C, that never changes. It's just when you're um, when you're at the top and the bottom of your corner to corner is when you have to remember the decrease stitch. Okay, so I chain three. Now I'm making three double crochets. I'm slip slip stitching again because I have these blacks touching. So I'm gonna chain up three. Make three double crochets. Okay, now we're at the top because we have these two touch in, but I'm not making any more decreases. So I'm just going to slip to join, chain three, turn my work, and then slip to join in that chain three space. So we have closed up that row. So if you can remember when you're decreasing, you're going to you're going to slip to join, chain three, slip to join. Okay, I'm going to chain up three and then get right back into our pattern. Make three double crochets one, two, three. Now we're touching square to uh, black to black, so we are slipping to join, chain up three. three double crochets slip to join now we're at the top of our next row of our same row I'm sorry still doing the same chaining three and making three whoops that one came out making three double crochets one two three now we're not increasing we're just going to slip to join right here okay remember how i said slip to join chain three turn your work slip to join every time you decrease at the ends from your top and your bottom if you can remember that i guarantee you won't get confused write it down for a little while i know i did i i, I make notes i'm a note taker it must be the secretary in me but we all have a secretary in us, so at least I believe that. So we're going to chain three, make three double crochets. One, two. Oops. Hang on a second. My yarn got caught in my prop here. Here we go. So we have one, two three double crochets slip to join because the blacks are touching now we're back up to the top we're going to finish this black three chains I'm um, three chains and three double crochets for some reason that didn't sound right okay so now again we're just slip slip to join chain three turn our work Sorry about that. Slip to join again to seal that side. And now we're in our last stitch. Chain up three. Make three double crochets. One, two, three. And again, we're decreasing, so it's a slip to join. And you never want to cut your yarn off there. You always want to cut your yarn off in your corner. So we're going to chain three, turn our work, and slip to join. Chain one. Grab my scissors, cut our yarn, and there it is. There is your corner to corner 
pattern. Now this is only five, five by five. It's a five by five square, um, but that's how you make it. So I hoped I encouraged somebody, clarified some um, stitch information, and maybe you know got you to adopt a couple pointers. Um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. I appreciate your patience, and again, let's continue to crochet it forward. Bye now.